Hey y'all. Uh, okay, so if you saw the previous download video, short video of this place I'm at, M&J Home Cooking, I'm gonna give you my review of what I ate so far. So, I wouldn't say it's bad, but I wouldn't say it's great and delicious. But, um, and looking around the clientele, it seems like I'm the only black person in here. <laughs> so, um, I could tell it's not really how black folks would cook. The chicken, the fried chicken, it was good. The ribs, a little bit too much sauce, but and then I'm eating um, the green beans. You can tell, man, no pork. And looking at the number of people in here, well, the clientele. Oh, let me take that back. There are some black folks up in here other than me. Um, mm, the watermelon is almost sweet. Got seeds in it. But it's clean, and I could tell that they do put out fresh foods. And the price is right. $13 plus tax, $13.54. And that's pretty cheap for a buffet. Because right next door on Highway 78 up in Snellville where I'm at. It used to be um, Country Buffet. The Country Buffet. Um, what's that big one? Um, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Golden Corral. Yeah, that's right. Golden Corral. Was next do it's next door. Or was next door until they closed it down. So. Country um, <coughs> Oh, goodness. <coughs> Golden Corral, um, they want $25, $28 or something. I don't know. I ain't been to Golden Corral even um, after COVID. From, but prior to COVID, Golden Corral, which is next, it used to be right next door. It used to be crowded. It would be crowded as hell. And I know they weren't as bad in price. But then I know now they probably over $28 at Golden Corral. So this one I'm at, like I said, um, so far it tastes pretty good, but it's not like, oh my God, this is delicious. So. I'm going to get a couple other more things and see what they got. I think they could put a little bit more, you know, macaroni and cheese. Of course, you know, it's not what I consider macaroni and cheese. The way I would cook macaroni and cheese, so what I'm used to is like, it's a casserole. You put macaroni, cheese, eggs, milk, um, seasonings, of course, bake it. But I don't know what it is with people with macaroni and cheese thinking that melted macaroni over some processed cheese is macaroni and cheese. So the macaroni and cheese that I just, that's, you know, sampled is not all that. It looks kind of greasy. Not greasy, oily. And I could tell, but let me take it back. They got some black books up in here too. And um, I'm gonna see what else they got. But they, I just ate the ribs. Um, that's pretty good, but it ain't drop dead. Oh my God, this is delicious. So if y'all want me to start doing some videos, like when I'm, when I'm trying to eat out every week, trust me. This is probably my first 
eating out on a buffet for this month and the price that I spent, not that bad. So, and I'm drinking water. Cause I don't want no, I don't mind drink no soda. Or tea. So, I'm gonna get me a salad now. Cause I just, you know, when I came, I just, you know, came straight to the bar and just put More snappers, um, yams, green bean, macaroni, and cheese, um, ribs, and chicken, and chicken leg. So, I'm not trying to overstuff myself, so I'm just going to eat just a little bit and take my time to eat before I decide to um, resume Walmart Spark again. So when I came back from the last delivery, usually they drop around 20 after six, but they didn't, you know, it, it seemed like it died down. So, but that's okay. I made $128 so far, and I still have um, a few tips pending. So it'll be a little bit higher than 128. But with all the tips, that um, carry through, that's what I've made so far. They were anticipating that it was gonna be so busy with Walmart Spark, but it really wasn't, you know? It really was not, it really was not busy. But, you know, like I said, I did pretty good. So anyway, let me go ahead and get me a sample more. I'm not going to overstuff myself. And um, maybe later on this evening, I may try to um, go to Stone Mountain Park. Just go kind of walk around or sit down near the bank, river bank. I don't know yet. I need to go home and cut the grass so I can, you know, my neighbor cut my grass last week and I'm trying to keep it up. And I'm trying to let this, you know, let it get a little bit more cooler. In the evening, try to do the front. So, yep, there's some people in here too. Indian people, they getting food. So I'm not trying to overstuff myself. Some people are taking it to go, but they weigh about a pound. So I don't know. I'll never, I'll never go to a buffet and take out because it might be very expensive by the time you know. It's not like it's the same price if you eat inside. I think when you weigh about a pound, it may be a little, it's gonna be, it's gonna be kind of pricey. All right, let me get me a little salad. I'm gonna see what else they got on this bar. All right. <laughs> 